Yo, what up? I'm back. It's Terrell, Hall of Fame, D-Line, and these are Bully Rants. Uh, this particular one right here is another question um, that has actually been asked by several people. And it's about symmetry. Symmetry is very, very important. I know we always want the biggest of everything. We want the biggest heads on the dogs, the biggest bone, the biggest, widest chest, the rear, all of these things. But symmetry plays a large part in this. And I get, I've, I've used this example before, but I'll use it again. In bodybuilding, it's well known as Arnold Schwarzenegger is possibly the greatest bodybuilder of all time. But one of the things about Arnold that was interesting is that he never was a very like huge man. Like we see some of these guys now and they're like 5'8", you know, 280 pounds, that type of deal. He's six foot two and at his peak, at the most he weighed in the show, I think was like 254. A lot of shows he was only in the 230s. But because of his symmetry, he looked a lot larger than what he was. And it was all put together. How that translates to a dog is very simply, you know. When you're looking for a show dog, the dog itself should have everything matching. You know, you don't want a 25 inch head on a 40 pound dog. It's not gonna look good. You don't want blown out shoulders, no rear. What you would rather have across the board if it was a scale of, uh, you know, zero to 10 is that instead of having a dog with certain body parts being fives and other areas being tens, you would rather have a dog that was across the board eights everything will fit. His shoulders are proportioned to his rear, his rib cage, the back length is proportioned to his height, his head size is proportioned to his overall body. And this gives you a very good aesthetic look. It gives that pretty look. You know, I've seen plenty of dogs, Gargoyle was one of them, that he was a smaller dog, but he looked like he had a giant head even though it wasn't. But in proportion to his body, it fit and it flowed very well with his shoulders and his rear. You know, Denzel is another one of those dogs where he does have a very large head, but he would look silly without that large head with the size of his shoulders and his um, forearm, especially the bone in his forearm, and the rear that he had uh, when he was younger. You know, everything was very well proportioned. I've seen other dogs like that, uh, Ruger, who is a bigger dog, but when I got a chance to lay hands on him and I looked at his symmetry, everything fit. He didn't need a 29 inch head, that wouldn't have fit his body. You know, for his body and his body style and everything, it just was a very beautiful flow. That's the thing about symmetry, and it should be taken into consideration when a judge is judging your dog. I don't, y'all know how I feel about a lot of what I see being judged, but symmetry should play a big part. How does this all flow together and how does it uh, pull the overall confirmation of the dog together? Uh, a, a dog show is not about measurements. It's about the, the, about the symmetrical flow of the dog and how it fits inside of the standard. So when you're picking your puppies or if you're picking a stud or you don't want a dog that has one body part that just overshadows everything else because it will throw off the symmetry of your dog. Uh, you know, in closing, I guess the easiest term and the easiest way to say this is that you want a dog that flows evenly. From start to finish, every body part fits just like a perfect puzzle. Nothing just blows you away about this dog, but everything is very good. The closer you come to that, you'll see when they're in the ring, when things don't stand out. Uh, uh, an oversized chest will make a rear look bad, just like an oversized rear will make a chest look bad. And, and, and in many other body parts, it's the same way. You want a good flowing dog, and that'll make it work. So hopefully I helped you out some as far as the symmetry goes on the dog. If you have any questions, please hit me up. I'm more than happy to give you the little bit of knowledge that I got. On to the next one. Peace.